Hey guys, this is Austin with Walton's TV, and today we have a special guest with us. We have John Brewer from Excalibur Seasonings, and he's here to answer a few questions about Excalibur and some different seasoning-related questions. What makes Excalibur better than other competitors, and why would someone choose to buy from Excalibur and Walton's? Well, I, uh, as mentioned and detailed in uh, the, the previous question, uh, one of the main things is our SQF certification. And, and again, that ensures that um, we're, we're selling the, the, the safest, highest quality product available. Um, another thing that we've, we've hung our hat on over the years is our customer service. Um, that if somebody calls Excalibur, they're not going to get a machine, but they're going to get a salesperson or a customer service uh, representative that's knowledgeable in our product line from, from one end to the other. And we have an extensive product catalog, as you know. Um, as far as application goes, we, we will field questions from uh, the home processor all the way up to the, the largest meat processor and the, the largest Greek retail grocery store. Um, we put together programs and not just products. Um, and what I mean by that, um, for instance, um, as I touched on earlier, one of our, um, one of our, our key areas of, of sales falls into retail grocery. And as, as many of us know that, that have been in the retail grocery world, um, staff changes quite a bit and there's a training piece that's involved in that. So uh, we put together those training pieces and customize uh, those, those programs to what the customer is purchasing from us. And we're, we're not a, uh, a one sell and then, and then done. It's whenever that customer needs us. Um, we're there and I, I think our customer service is second to none. Uh, one thing that I, I think sets us apart from our competitors more so than anything else uh, is our development capabilities. Whereas when someone comes to us and wants to develop a, a new blend, um, we're, we're very on trend as to what's, what's in the marketplace, what's selling. Um, and in turn, that can fall by region as to what sells better in one area than the, in the, than the next. And we're, we're very well versed in that area as well. Be it from a, a sausage seasoning blend to a sauce to a marinade, um, there's so many different categories that uh, we, we have expertise in. It, even beyond the 8,000, because one, one of my favorite things about you guys is the variety mm -hmm. and the unique flavors mm -hmm. like every year um i go i go through the catalog um, through our catalog look at your guys's list of seasonings and go okay we need to add a few here and there and i pull up your list on what you guys now have and the flavorings are are crazy things i would never dream of mm -hmm. but one of you guys whether it was jay or marlo in the r d lab they thought of it or another customer or another whoever does it i I don't know how you guys come up with some of the seasonings you do, but um, just those unique um, flavor profiles. Well, and I can expand on that a little bit, and that that I think comes twofold, both uh, from um, our 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 lab in that staying on trend flavor profiles in in the development stage. They they feed sales with um, what's what's popular in different areas of the country or or global. And uh, be it be it ethnic flavor profiles, be it a, a wild brat flavor, which um, uh, one of the things that came from the field that was a, a request from our uh, one of our customers in Wisconsin was a, a chocolate chili flavored brat. Um, and from a brat standpoint, that's one category that I think there's it, it's never ending as far as what the flavor profile options are. We even had uh, a customer request a, a gummy bear brat flavor profile um, in the not too distant past of which we haven't brought gummy bears into the facility yet. But uh, one thing that I can say about Excalibur is we don't rule anything out as far as the development side. I don't think there's anything that's... Uh, uh, that you can discount as being too wild because that could be the next great thing and the best seller yeah. in the marketplace. So we try to keep an open mind and not rest our hat on the same old flavor profiles year after year after year. I, I think one thing that makes us unique um, that people keep coming back to us for 
is is new product development every year at the trade shows that's one thing that draws traffic to to our exhibit is the simple fact that what's excalibur have new and exciting this year that i need to i need to hear about can you can you think of off the top of your head something that's a really unique um, flavor profile that is a surprisingly good seller um, believe it or not, the the chocolate chili brat is is something that we've gotten some interest in, and and that one sticks in my head as well as the gummy bear, just because they're they're bizarre and unique. But I, I think that um, you know, it's some of the the simplest things that are put together that make great flavor profiles. Um, Sun dried tomato basil, you know, that's that's one of the uh, I guess trending flavor profiles over the years that we've been able to put into several different applications, be it a, a, a dry blend um, or a sausage seasoning. It, it, I think some of the better sellers still tend to fall back into what people recognize and it's those unique combinations of, of be it savory and, and sweet uh, tends to be now uh, a, a growing trend that I don't think is going to go away. So it, it I don't know that you can uh, you can put any flavor profile into a corner, so to speak, because you never know what's going to come up next that that you've never heard of that, as I'd mentioned, is going to take off and sell really strong. 